Hello. I would like to ask you to think 30 or 40 years ahead. Imagine a country with 100% green energy, so all electricity comes from wind parks, photovoltaics and hydropower plants, cars are driving with green electricity and no fossil fuels would be used anymore. Could that work? This is the first clip of our new online training course on the integration of intermittent renewables and you will understand very soon that a power system with substantial capacities of wind or solar has to be operated very differently than a power system with only conventional resources. But let's first clarify what we mean with renewable energy sources. Renewables are not one specific type of generation technology, but they are instead a whole class of very different technologies. So renewables, first of all, differ in terms of their fuel size. There is, of course, wind on and offshore. There is uh, photovoltaics, there are hydropower plants, but renewables also include geothermal energy, biomass and biofuels, concentrated solar power, ocean wave energy, etc. Renewable generators also can have very different characteristics in terms of their size. So, whereas offshore wind parks can have a capacity of up to several hundred megawatts, we talk about a few kilowatts only for a solar PV installation. So it obviously will make a difference if we move towards a system or with a kind of European-wide high-voltage energy superhighways with massive solar being transported from North Africa to Central Europe and a lot of wind energy coming from the North Sea. Or if instead we move towards a system of rising local energy autonomy where we have a lot of distributed generation, local energy storage and also widespread demand side management. Very likely the future system will be somewhere in between these two extreme situations and so um, the large scale integration of intermittent renewables will have an impact on all levels of the power system. So it will have an impact not only on the transmission, but also on the distribution level. And it will have an impact not only on wholesale markets, but also on the retail level, where we have the direct link to the customers. But what are the particular technical characteristics of renewables? Well, here we, of course, have to talk about intermittency. Intermittent generators depend on the availability of the energy source. So, of course, for solar panels to generate electricity, the sun must shine. And for wind turbines to run, there must be a certain wind speed. So, the electricity output of intermittent resources, to a certain extent, is variable. And it also is, to a certain extent, unpredictable. Moreover, generation fluctuates quite rapidly. For example, if the clouds are moving or if the wind stops blowing. And renewables also typically involve quite high upfront capital investments, but once they are installed, um, they only cause very low operating expenditures. So we have two very different types of generators in today's power system. On the one hand, we have generators that are uh, considered to be dispatchable, they are controllable by the operators. And on the other hand, we have generators which strongly depend on a number of exogenous factors and which are considered to be intermittent. The share of intermittent resources in the energy system is not negligible anymore and it is also expected to continue to rise. And as you can see in this figure very nicely, this share exceeds 20% already in a number of countries like for example Spain or Denmark. But what are the implications of such a high share of intermittent renewable generators? Well, we now have two main sources of uncertainty in the power system. There is, of course, as has always been, the uncertainty related to the exact level of demand. 
But now we in addition also have uncertainty related to the generation coming from intermittent resources. And so in today's power systems there's both demand and supply variability. There are many open questions. Given the very low marginal cost of renewable generators and the priority when it comes to injecting power into the grid, they push higher marginal cost generators out of the market. And so the existing power plants can sell electricity only during a smaller number of running hours. Therefore, questions about a possible revenue insufficiency or also about generation adequacy arise. Moreover, a system with a high share of intermittent renewables also needs more flexibility for the short and for the long-term horizons. And finally, we have to ask if, and if yes, to which extent renewables should be exposed to market signals. We will talk about these and many other open questions during our course, but what we already can conclude is that renewable generators can no longer be regarded as passive units in the power system, but instead what is a key objective today is to facilitate their efficient integration at low cost, while at the same time also ensuring grid stability and the reliable supply of electricity.